we went up on the top of the town we went to that party it was a club it's it worked <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, this is Eric's world and Williard. So hey guys, um, you have to look here in the camera, Eric. This okay. is a video you all have been asking for today. I have gotten Eric and we're going to make this. This is a video about what? Building a white PC. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's how we met. So today oh, is the part Jesus. one. So to help Eric so that because I'm also nervous. I'm going to let him start by asking him a few questions so that he gets in the flow. Eric, this is how we met, your side of the story. So, my side of the story. Yeah. I was watching at work some websites. Yeah. And I had the product number from the white graphic card. Okay. And I got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's messing with also, building. So in 2018, we met in 2018. Yeah. And before we met, so I'm going to take it back a little bit. So I'm going to give you a base to start. So how long were you single before we met? Million years. <laughs> I don't know, a whole year or a year. Okay. So, what? How did you go to the site? How or do you go wh to the Why site? did you decide? Why didn't you meet people at work? Why did you decide to go online? Because I'm a shy person. Okay. So it's more comfy to write over the internet. No? Okay. So I'm going to mention the website where we met each other just once. It is Parship. It's, I think it's now very popular here Hashtag in Hashtag no Germany. advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very popular here. So um, I was was in germany and i also decided to meet people on the internet so i got suggestions from people that you can try tinder you can try lavu different ones but i realized that with tinder lavu people just wanted to really meet to have mostly just sex okay so nothing serious that's my impression i think sometimes you meet a serious person there but it's one one maybe two out of ten so yeah, I was also at that time at a very conflicted time when I started on the internet. So I just wanted to meet people in, in distress. But then later on, I got really tired because like I said, it was just mostly about people wanting to hook up. So yeah, then someone suggested Parship to me and I logged in and that place you have to pay for it that the website you have to pay for it and then you don't see the person profile so you write they ask you questions about yourself and then the app rates you and, and rates your personality rates your personality and connect you with people so eric how did you find the website and how did it get to before how did i find the website yeah. i already know this website okay because i had it also in the past so I know also the credentials better if you subscribe just for one month or 12 months and pay longer. Okay, okay. So yeah, so I know the website already. All right. Um, okay. So I registered on and then started chatting with people. But at that time, my German was really, really bad. Um, I could understand and I would try and use Google Translate. So it wasn't also easy starting to date in Germany. So... I had a couple of people who our profile we matched and I met I think one person from that place but it didn't click maybe the person felt different but I wasn't into it so then I decided later on that I was going to stop on the profile okay I was going to stop on the website I was about to log out so I told myself this week at the end of this week you should log out of this website and then um I got a message from this guy. I didn't watch his pictures really well. <laughs> he, Eric Pictures doesn't do justice to him on the internet. Okay. Eric Pictures, I don't know, he uploaded the worst pictures from him and he looks so much better in real life. Yeah. So. No I, camera can catch my beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so I took the. I saw. Him, he wrote me. Did you write me or what did you do? Explain what happened, Eric. How did you find my profile? You were also just one of a lot of in the suggestions. Okay. And like you make this, as a, like I make it 
you write 20 messages and okay. then you see I mean it's just a hello if if the other if the opposite person react or not no, it's not about oh, that's it. yeah so yeah I saw his message and then I opened my picture so from the beginning you can't see the person's pictures so I made my pictures free so that he could see who I am because I also had the thing that somebody said oh sorry when I opened my pictures I don't want to date like anybody who's not German so yeah I wanted him to know that I'm a black girl from the beginning and then he sent me his number yeah oh then explain what happened no you saw also my picture but then you yeah. were no more answering a message so I wrote you a second time yeah right yeah so Eric wrote me one I didn't reply I just opened my pictures for him then he wrote me again and in the second one was your number that's also not we wrote there short before I gave you my number okay I give not a number hey here's my picture it's going to me yeah we chatted then a little bit after after you thought I'm a racist <laughs> Okay, und dann? Und dann? Hast du mich angerufen? So we chatted a little bit and then I gave you my number. Mm -hmm. And then you called me. Then I mean, what so is that the day, <laughs> Yeah, cool. So I was home and I received this message from this guy with his number and I had the day off. It was a Monday, I remember very well. I had just started my apprenticeship, okay guys, at the hotel. And I saw his number and I thought to myself, Okay, I have the day off today. I need a free drink somewhere or something. I just need to chill. <laughs> and so I dressed up and went to meet him. You suggested? Yeah. I, okay. Also, I, I asked it. So, tell your side, then we see if it's match. It okay. seems so you chose a bar. Okay. Nay. So I think Eric suggested, I can't remember, Eric has all those old messages, but I don't. So I think I, it's because I changed phones, so I don't have it. And so we decided to meet at a bar or a, it's like a restaurant slash bar. Yeah. So we went to this restaurant. I was a few minutes late. Um, I got dressed up. I wanted to look really good, and at that time I was really slim. And yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and looking fresh. So yeah, I got ready. Wore a white top. I remember blue jeans and a yellow cardigan. But I didn't. I think it was in August, going towards September. Or it was September, I don't know. But it was August, September. And I wasn't sure about the weather and I didn't check the weather as always. And so I went out like that. And when I got there, I was riding my bicycle and got there. Eric was sitting down on on the pavement. He was waiting for me. So first impression was he didn't go in the restaurant to sit. Someone might have gone in the restaurant to sit and wait for me. But he waited outside so that we can both go in together. So I thought, okay, he's sitting on the pavement, very relaxed. He is down to earth. And then when I saw him also from afar, I just saw this tall, handsome, skinny guy. <laughs> Eric was unhealthy. I was not unhealthy. I was looking good. Sitting on the pavement and I thought to myself, oh my God, this one is sick. Together. He was looking so great. I promise you guys. So yeah, for me it was a done deal already when I just saw him. I just thought, oh my god, this guy looks great. So we went inside, we sat down and we ordered, I think he ordered, I don't know what he ordered, a beer or just water. And I ordered a glass of white wine and we started chatting and the advantage was eric could speak english and you guys should remember at the beginning i couldn't speak or understand a lot of german so it was difficult for communication and so eric could speak english so this was great we chatted about so many different topics and he was so open so nice and so that was how we met and that was our first meeting and i thought to myself i really really like this guy so now I think I'm telling my side of the story. 
So <laughs> I went home after that date. Eric went, he got in his car. I got on my bicycle. Yeah, my bicycle, guys. And I went home and I was thinking to myself, I said, oh my God, I like him. I think I like him. I hope he writes me again. And I don't know if he feels the same way, but I'll wait and see. What happened? Did you write me or I wrote you? I fulfill you for this, no? So I know I have some friends in Leipzig. Meet again and I will surprise you because you have you had no idea. You you were worried about what you have to wear. 